Most Famous Georgia Syrah Paintings Georges Seurat was a French post-impressionist artist. He devised the painting techniques known as chromoluminarism and pointillism and used Conte crayon for drawings on paper with a rough surface. These are some of the most famous paintings by Georges Seurat. A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jatte is his most famous painting and the epitome of the pointillist technique which he perfected in the early 1880s. The painting depicts many people who are having a good time at La Grande Jatte, an island on the River Seine. This relatively large island is in the northwestern suburbs of Paris and was a popular place to hang out for the bourgeoisie at Paris at the time. One of the most remarkable reproductions of the work can be found in Topiary Park in Columbus, Ohio. An artist named James D. Mason transformed shrubs into the figures depicted in the painting. <music> Bathers at Asnier Bathers at Asnier was the first painting that Georges Seurat produced and is an accompanying painting of A Sunday on La Grande Jatte. As you can see from both works, it appears as if both groups of people are directly staring at each other from across the river. While Seurat's second major painting depicts the bourgeoisie, Bathers at Asnier depicts common people who are enjoying swimming in the river. The factories that produced clouds of black smoke in the distance are symbols of the notion that these are working class people. Models Models was the third of the six major paintings. It was painted as a reaction to the criticism that the post-impressionist artist received for his first two paintings. His pointillist technique was deemed to be too cold and unable to produce a realistic depiction of the subject matter. The painting depicts a nude model in three different poses to counter his critics. He included part of his monumental work depicting the bourgeoisie at La Grande Jatte in the top left corner of the painting. The Circus The Circus was the final painting that Georges Seurat worked on before he passed away at the age of 31. It was left incomplete when he died in March 1891. It depicts a female performer who is standing on a horse inside the circus. Circus Sideshow Circus Sideshow was the first of the three paintings that features the circus as the main subject. The sideshow is a reference to the parade that was held outside the Circus Corvi at the Place de la Nation in Paris. That's the reason why the painting is rather gloomy as it depicts a scene at night. Le Shah Hut Le Shah Hut is the second version of the series of three paintings related to the circus. The painting depicts a performance at the Moulin Rouge, the popular cabaret in Paris that opened its doors around this time in history. The Shah Hut is the name of a popular dance routine. The painting was generally praised but there were still critics who regarded it as too linear.
young woman powdering herself. Young woman powdering herself is a painting that depicts the artist's mistress, while she is putting on contemporary makeup. In the background, we can see a peculiar item hanging on the wall which appears to be a picture featuring a vase of flowers. View of La Cratoy from upstream View of La Cratoy from upstream depicts a scenic village in the northern part of France. It's located in the Somme department of the Eau de France region in the utmost northern part of the country. The painting is one of many paintings by Seurat that features remarkable dots on the wooden frame that are distinctively darker than those in the painting itself. Angelica at the Rock Angelica at the Rock is a neoclassical painting that he completed while studying at the École des Beaux-Arts. It depicts a fragment of a much larger painting by renowned neoclassical artist Jean-Auguste Dominique Angre titled Roger Freeing Angelica. Seurat only painted a fraction of the complete work of the French master. He didn't include the heroic knight who rescues the princess from the horrible sea monster. A Corner of the Harbor of Honfleur A corner of the harbor of Honfleur is one of the six harbor views that Georges Seurat completed in the summer of 1886. He made several sketches on paper before he started working on this painting in his studio. He didn't manage to complete this work. This is especially clear in the beige foreground of the painting. The Marion Honfleur Port and Besson. Bridge and Keys. The Eiffel Tower. Boats at low tide at Grand Champ. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.